Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having the sun in Cancer and a Capricorn ascendant in a natal chart. Now, these two signs are, are diametrically opposed in nature. Uh, cancer sun can be very emotional and, and sometimes even temperamental, very sensitive, and they're, they could be intuitive as well. And Capricorn ascendant uh, can be undemonstrative and not always uh, one to express their emotions uh, outwardly and they could be very serious and, and very uh, single-minded and, and very persistent uh, in thought and in action and very stern and serious as well and the thing about this is this person because the rising sign is going to be more dominant as far as the outer expression and, and it is the outer demeanor of the person the person will uh, be a lot more uh, I guess you could say the uh, generally speak it be more unemotional or non-emotional as opposed to the um, typical cancer sun I wouldn't say non-emotional but a lot less emotional I should say uh, in temperament uh, as opposed to the average cancer sun and this this more stern, serious, undemonstrative front uh, can uh, can camouflage the the Cancer Sun, which is more vulnerable and more sensitive and and more emotional. And uh, the thing about uh, this is th is that you got to look at the okay. The Sun sign represents our basic wants, and the Rising sign or Ascendant can represent the manner or method in which one attains those basic wants. A sun in Cancer, can uh, their basic wants can be connected with having a home, uh, family, emotional uh, security. And the thing about uh, this is in having a Capricorn Ascendant, this could indicate that this person uh, may attain these basic Cancerian wants through, uh, through Capricorn ways such as uh, they being ambitious, being uh, tenacious, uh, being uh, industrious, being very hardworking, being uh, very orthodox and, and, and done very conservative, perhaps as well. And it could be done through perhaps Capricorn uh, like um, career endeavors or work, such as perhaps working with the government, politics working um, perhaps in a position of authority uh, such as management it could be done perhaps through an, another capricorn like profession could be carpentry it could just be from some general mundane uh, type work uh, it could be done uh, according to one website they said capricorn can work uh, may work well actually in information technology and because of the maybe the ability to uh, do the painstaking things in their attention and focus to detail that a lot of other people will not necessarily be interested in and this could be this combination of the cancer sun and capricorn ascendant it could be somebody that likes to, could, to nurture has a very nurturing attitude and sensitivity toward uh, their career matters and their their ambitions and um this is uh, this is somebody that might uh, really have that that strong philosophy about putting in their hours they need to to help support uh, their home uh, their home and family. Now, a lot of this could depend on the aspect that the Cancer Sun makes to the Capricorn ascendant, and even though they are adversarial by sign they're in opposition by sign if you have say an opposition aspect between your cancer sun and capricorn sun this could intensify a little it is adverse and it could indicate that this person might go have a little bit of inner tension and exasperation due to these uh, to having this aspect and because the, even if the person is not cognizant of these astrological placements, it, this person might be aware that what they're projecting outwardly is, is completely, may even be diametrically opposed as to what's going on internally inside the person. And uh, you can, I mean, Cancer and, and Capricorn, of course, are very uh, opposite 
uh, in nature and this person might feel at times if they're that there may be they're misconstrued or misunderstood by other people now same if you have the in conjunct aspect let's say uh, you could have an out of sign in conjunct aspect take place between the cancer sun and capricorn ascendant and let's say for example somebody has their cancer sun at one degree and capricorn ascendant at 29 degrees this would form an out of sign in conjunct aspect and this could be an, uh, where the, because it is adverse it could indicate those feelings of being misconstrued or misunderstood and there could be uh, something where this person does feel that inner that tension that inner exasperation due to the fact that they uh, may even if they're not knowledgeable about these placements astrologically they they may understand that what they're showing more readily outwardly in their outer demeanor may be different than what is going on inside now let's say also the cancer energy may be suppressed to some degree due to the fact that the rising sign is very dominant in its outer expression however the sun and cancer energy may still come out prominently in the house that it is in uh, and let's say for example that the person has the sun and cancer in their sixth house well this could indicate that this nurturing uh, sensitive uh, sympathetic that, that emotional energy may come out in matters pertaining to uh, service work and, and health in their employment uh, this could be if we look at this, let's say for another example let's say the person has the Sun and cancer in their seventh house well this could indicate that that strong sensitive uh, cancerian uh, energy may come out uh, strongly in matters uh, connected uh, with partnerships and relationships and even possibly in what could come out as far as their open adversaries go because that's that's um, what the seventh house governs and rules as well is that there could be that strong tenacious uh, quality can come out with these open adversaries or enemies and it could show that they're very sensitive in matters in connection uh, with this so um, let's say for another example that the sun and cancer is in the eighth house now this could show that this person may uh, show their cancer energy strongly and prominently in matters connected with some transformation in, in matters with uh, in, in sex uh, perhaps in matters connected with others resources there might be a clinging type nature and a, and a strong cancerian type ability to nurture uh, this so as far as others resources go well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the Sun and cancer and a Capricorn ascendant in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having the Sun and cancer in an Aquarius ascendant in a natal chart two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well